Hello everybody. Uh, lately I've been getting a lot of questions about this computer here. So I'm thinking about creating a playlist for this computer. And you go to my channel and check it out. Anyway, I received a comment or a uh, private message from somebody who uh, wants to know how to change hard drive. And I was going over my previous videos and I couldn't really find anything. I know I'd done some videos on this, but it wasn't all that instructional directing right to changing the hard drive. So, this um, computer is a, sorry for the terrible camera work, HP Media Center PC M7160N. Um, I haven't found many videos on YouTube about this. Anyway, let's get started. First thing you'll want to do is loosen off the thumb screws on the back of the case if you didn't already know that. So just loosen them off now. You want to pull it back. This can take a fair bit of effort. Just put that off to the side for now. Actually, I better put this somewhere safe too. Now, in here, when you first look at this, you're like, how in the world am I supposed to get the hard drive out of this? Where is it even? Well, the hard drive is behind this um, drive caddy for HP's media drives. I don't exactly know what they're called. I can't remember right now. Anyway, this does not have its stock power supply. And as you can see, it's got an ultra 500 watt ATX power supply. And I've upgraded the video card as well as the processor. It's got a Pentium D840 instead of a Pentium D820. I wouldn't recommend you do that. The uh, CPU cooler isn't quite big enough, so it can't really keep up. And to be honest, I don't know if the VRMs are actually strong enough to support the more powerful processor because it draws more power. Um, anyway, that's what I did. I don't use this computer that often anymore. I've got a new one. Okay, so I got my tools. First thing you want to do is you got to remove the front cover. And to do so, I'm just going to take the camera off the tripod. Also, if you may notice, this is the first video I've done in 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Uh, I don't know if you can find one. Okay, there's one right there. You gotta sort of push it forward. And there's one in the middle here, right there. And there's one at the bottom. You may have to lift your computer. You're gonna have to lift it up a little bit to get it out. Anyways, let me put the camera back on the tripod. You gotta lift it up. You should probably zoom out a little bit. And then your front will just come right off. You can set that off to the side. On the front now, apparently mine is missing the screws. Because I never bothered to put them back in. So maybe I don't need my tools after all. There's two screws that are supposed to go there. And they look like the drive screws. So when I pull this hard drive out, now you got to pull on the green lever here. Just pull it out. And then this will slide forward. And there is your hard drive, if you could see it. This just slides out. This case is built very strong, which I like. Now, this SATA cable used to have a retention clip on it, like you see on this one here. I broke those off. I don't know why. I guess they got stuck once. I just got frustrated with it, so I just broke them off. And you just take this out. Now I'm going to need my tool, because I got screws here in the hard drive. Of course, you want to try and be delicate with your hard drive. They're fairly fragile. So, you'll need a Phillips head. Or, if you have one, which I happen to have right here, one of these. Actually, I'm going to use this one. Doesn't really matter. This one will just fit a little bit nicer. And you just take the four screws out. And there's your old hard drive, which is a Maxter, by the way. Take your new hard drive, which happens to be a Western Digital. 
it's not staying in here because there are some problems with this drive. This is just for demonstration. And then you just do the reverse. You will screw it back in. Got to be careful. You got to line them up so you don't cross thread the screws. I would suggest doing alternate sides just so it lines up. You don't have to do it this way. This is how I do it. This can be a, a difficult task if you don't know. Well, if you're not that familiar with computers or this computer's design in particular. It's kind of crammed in there. There's only room for one hard drive. You can't put a new hard another hard drive anywhere else except for this one spot, which I'm not a big fan of. Can you take your hard drive, Caddy. I'll zoom out. Well, before you put it in, you're going to want to hook up these cables. They're SATA cable to the smaller port on the hard drive. And your power cable, which seems to have gone back inside the computer. Into the larger port. Now you just take this, make sure you got it the right way, drive on the back, and it will just slide in. Okay, so I have some screws now. Got a whole bag of them to be exact. Okay. These have spilled across the floor numerous times. Okay, well, when you take your screws out, try not to misplace them. They're not very vital because you got the green clip holding them in. Just adjust the camera. I think you'll be able to see both of them. Okay, so they just go in right here. And that would be it. Now you just gotta put your front panel back on. Camera's trying to fall asleep on me. You gotta lift up the front of your computer. And you just clip it on. Get your side panel. And then that should go right into place. So, you tighten up your thumb screws, which you may or may not be able to see. Just swing it around back here. And then you're done. Then you can install um, your operating system on it. I don't know where that came from, but anyway. You can install your operating system on it. In a good free cloning software if your other hard drive is still working. Um, actually, if you want to do me a video on cloning a hard drive, just let me know. Anyway, the free program is, I think it's Ease US um, Clone Master or something. Uh, just type in uh, to Google Ease US Clone Hard Drive Cloning Software. And that will clone all your files and everything to your new hard drive. Um, if your hard drive is smaller than your old one, which I highly doubt it will be, because if it's still working, you're probably upgrading for the space anyway. Um, it won't copy over everything sometimes, and it won't work. And if it is larger, um, you have to resize your partition manually after you have copied over your, your old data. But other than that, that's about everything I have to say. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was useful in some ways, and we'll see you again soon.